welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Yasmin. It sucks that I decided to film on my bummy day, but hey, I looked cute the other day. Okay, so I'm kind of sad because I was supposed to film today. Of course, I have on like filming attire. It's super cute. But I was not able to film today because of a couple things that came up. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this into my next vlog because I'm gonna try hard. And I just have to show you guys every single cute look. I'm just joking. But yeah, I'm being a try hard today. So outfit of the day. I have on this super cute little beret. My eyebrows are looking super cute. Makeup's looking super cute. Yes, ma'am. I have on my cute little, come on, don't get stuck. I have on this super cute little bag that you guys already know about. These are the glasses of the day. Yes, ma'am. And then, if y'all keep up with my videos and you already know about this cargo skirt. So I bought this cargo skirt at H&M and I recently showed you guys in one of my vlogs and I showed you guys that I was gonna, you know, do this cute little outfit. I'm wearing it with my brown Birkenstocks. Yes, ma'am. I even got hollered at by old man today. Anyway, so yeah, that is my OOTD. Super cute. This skirt is amazing. And my purse. So yeah. Bye. Get back to the video. New house. Who this? Y'all know I'm just playing. This is an Airbnb. So no, this is not my new house at all. I definitely wouldn't go for this vibe. But hey, house hunting is in action right now. Anyways, hello, hello, hello. Okay, the truth is, is I'm really tired. So if you're getting sleepy vibes, then you the truth. I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, so like I said, welcome back to my channel. Should we turn up the ring light a little bit more? Probably. I am your mother. You listen to me. <laughs> um, in today's video, as you all can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I am going to be hitting y'all with a cooking vlog. I rarely ever cook on camera because my least favorite things to do on camera, cooking and cleaning. And that is why I just completely dedicated a whole vlog recently to just cleaning so I could just focus on cleaning and it was very enjoyable. So I was like, wait a minute, maybe it's not the filming. Maybe it's just that I need to dedicate videos to certain things, if that makes sense. So today I am going to be cooking. Now, I don't know why I decided to cook the same exact thing that I cooked on our engagement video, but I'm gonna make a little bit more. So I'm gonna make steak tacos today. I usually fry my shells, shells? I usually fry my shells. <laughs> But today, I'm just gonna use the regular shimbler. <laughs> How long she got my hair? I'm gonna go for the simpler taco shell, so I'm just gonna do the ones that you wanna put in the oven, but I'm not gonna put them in the oven because I don't have much time today. Okay, turn the ring light up completely because it's tweaking. It's, it's giving paranormal activity. Okay, so I am going to be making steak tacos, guacamole, and pico de gallo. I also picked up some queso dip at Kroger. I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out, see if, that e huh? see if that's even good. And then, and some refried beans out of the can. So, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I already pre-chopped or pre-cut all of the steak. I just get the little cheap, th what you doing? Put it back on the steak right now. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Ooh, I can't stand this cameraman, he finna get fired. All right, so. Ow, my toe! What? Something cracked in it. Say Chef Yasmin. <laughs> Chef Yasmin. What? Okay, I'm gonna be getting paid extra because I'm injured. Okay, so like I said earlier, I already pre-cut all of this steak. Um, it's the very cheap, thin steak. I don't get any expensive steak for steak tacos because honestly, I can't really tell the difference when it comes down to tacos. I also pre-cut some onions because I always cook my steak with some onions. And I already pre-cut the cilantro because I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro in the steak while I'm cooking it. My mother breath. <laughs> so that is what I already have pre-cut. And then later on, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some tomatoes for the pico de gallo. I have to cut up more onions and maybe more cilantro. I hope I'm making sense. I'm not really the best cook. So let's just start cooking the steak. Oh, and the onion, oh. Okay, where the pot's at? I don't even know where, where everything is in this place. Where the pans and pots and stuff? It's like living in somebody else's house. It's kind of different. Is there any bigger pans? Mom! What? Where are the bigger pans? Like what? Like a bigger pan so I can cook? There's lots of steak on this freaking plate. Mom, I don't want to cook it in the pot. Come on, mother. Oh, okay. You feeling real spicy, ain't you? <laughs> ah! Yeah. I was never allowed to call my mom mother growing up. 
It's mom, mama, mommy, all of that. Mother? No. My dad didn't like that father, sir stuff either, or ma'am. They thought it was the coldest, weirdest thing ever. All right, well, I guess I'll have to use this little tiny pan. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to use it. You're such a great help. You heard what I said? <laughs> She's gonna have to use that pan. Hey, get over here now. Cooking with Chloe today. Yeah, cooking with Chloe today. Hey. It's good, my mom ain't gotta cook today. My mom been grilling like every thank single day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I completely forgot my olive oil, so I'm just gonna use my mom's vegetable oil and hopefully that works. Is that okay, mom? Absolutely. Okay, to use vegetable oils. Oh, I didn't even turn it on. Freak. What am I doing in this house right now? Perfecto. I wanna go ahead and drop the onions, but not all of them. So let me grab a spoon at eight. I feel like a noob. I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Like, what's happening? I'm gonna add about that much onion. Let that cook up a little bit. Over here, I have some accent, Cajun seasoning, red pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and salt. I just picked these little cheap things up from Kroger and then my mom had some accent and salt here. So, hey, I'm just working with honestly what I have. I'm not at home, so you know what? All right, so now the onions have got to cooking. Yes, ma'am. I love the aroma of sauteed onions. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and add all the steak. Hopefully it all fits. That's about all I can do in there, honestly, which sucks. Yeah, my mom was right. We're gonna have to do a pot. This is the worst cooking video I've ever done in my life. Oh, now all the steak fits. I hate cooking in pots. It's just something about it. I cannot stand pots. Anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning black pepper, onion powder, Cajun seasoning, red pepper, just a little bit because that stuff is spicy, garlic powder. I honestly don't need any salt because the taco seasoning sometimes is a little salty, and then accent. Why does that kind of smell like pizza? Oh. And make sure you clean while you're cooking so when the food is done, you can simply enjoy it and not have to worry about cleaning. Okay, so I am currently cutting up these tomatoes. I had to search to get the crispy tomatoes because I do not like mushy tomatoes. I love crispy tomatoes. So right now, I'm just dicing up these tomatoes. All right, so I'm not gonna make too much because I don't know how much everybody is gonna eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the bowl. Man, I should have brought some bowls and stuff because all of this is not gonna fit into this bowl. I forgot about that onion over there as well. I'm still gonna go ahead and chop up a tiny bit more and put the rest into a Ziploc baggie. My mama loves onions, so hey. And I don't mind them in pico de gallo when I'm eating them with food and they've been sitting in the lemon juice because I add lemon to my pico de gallo. I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of lime. It's a little bitter to me. Um, lemon is just super like citrusy and just perfect. Like what can you say about lemon? All right, that is enough onion. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start adding the cilantro. Gotta have cilantro, girl, what if not? Um... So this is actually my mom's recipe for guacamole. I got the seedless lemons, cause you know, you don't want no seeds. Plus they sell them super cheap at my Kroger. They're cheaper than the regular ones. They always have them for $1.99. And then I go to Fresh Time and they're four or five dollars. <laughs> Kroger's my best friend. I love Kroger. Anyways, I put tons of lemon and then I add a little bit of water and then I put it in the fridge for a little while, let it marinate. It's so much better if it marinates, y'all, especially for a couple hours, even overnight. Girl, girdle. <laughs> okay, so in total, I put one and a half lemons in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some cold water and mix this around. Thoroughly mix everything around. Perfect. I'm also gonna add um, probably some accent, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Man, I don't have no minced garlic. That's what I meant to pick up. That's the only thing we forgot was minced garlic. I put minced garlic in mine as well, you guys. And it's so yummy. Let that sit for a little while. Now I gotta come over here and quickly drain out this steak. Let's get that all strained. Perfect. Don't want all that grease up in here. All right, I put it back into the pot. Add some water for the taco seasoning. 
I'm gonna try this Taco Bell seasoning mix and I'm gonna mix it with a regular seasoning mix. I always use two because I love flavorful, flavorful meat. I have had times where I tried people's tacos and it just tasted like meat, like come on now. And then if you're gonna use these seasoning packets, also use your own seasonings. Use a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, you know, some extra seasonings so that's not so bland and just straight up taco. You want a little bit more flavor, all right? Shoot, I need to practice what I preach. Talking about some clean up while you're cooking because it makes it so much safer. I wonder if they have a cap to this pot. All right, so now that that is thoroughly mixed around, I'm gonna leave that. I usually have a cap. Hopefully they have a cap for this pot. Okay, so they don't have a cap for this pot, so I'm just gonna leave it, but I also wanted to go ahead and add some lemon juice to this. All right, and I'm gonna let that sit and it's gonna thicken and become a nice sauce and it's gonna stick to the steak and it's gonna be perfect steak tacos. Over here, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and add some accent to my pico de gallo. Since I didn't have no minced garlic, I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and some salt. Oh, maybe even some black pepper. Mix that around, let that sit in the fridge and I'm gonna start getting this guac made. I'm gonna go ahead and let this, oh, we got this fridge full. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit in the fridge for a little while, get a little colder, yes ma'am. I'm glad this place provides cleaning products. There's a lot of reasons why this place was so freaking expensive. Pool, hot tub, they provide yes. everything we need. Cause I was like, for a washer and dryer. Cause it's nice, but I'm like, it was really expensive. This is very expensive. But you know, they provide everything you need, plus the pool, the hot tub. I have tub. to say this was amazing. Yeah, it's like a vacation house. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and start making this guacamole. How's everything looking? Awesome. And this is a Red Bull. Don't try me. Guacamole. I'm not gonna add onions to it because I don't feel like it. So what you gonna do? Cut these things in half. Oh, this should have been a steak knife. This has grooves and gridges. Cut this avocado in half. You can see me? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. You sure you can see me? Yep. You're right in the middle. Can you see the bowl? Yeah, you can see the bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop all of this avocado. I'm just gonna do two. I'm gonna scoop all this avocado into the bowl. My mom and I love guacamole. Right, mom? Yes. I she was like, girl, not yours. <laughs> I love yours. <laughs> that would be so funny. Y'all, I done cut my finger a little bit. Just don't talk about it. This ain't alcohol though, this is a hand cleaning yeah, wipe. That's it. So I said yeah, you want some alcohol? Right. Oh well, I'm gonna use this. It says it's gonna work, cause it has benzalconium, ben, benzalconium chloride and purified water and it has a little bit of alcohol in it. I just don't smell it, cause I'm not a drunk. Chef work. Mm, I think it's maybe right there. Thanks, friend. You well, I hope y'all can see me. My cameraman went back upstairs to put the first aid kit up there. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a lemon, and I am going to squirt the lemon into this bowl. Now, the reason why I squirt the lemon before I even start to smush the avocados is because something about like the acid or the acidity level, I don't freaking know, it really breaks up that guacamole a lot better. Freak, I burnt the food. Okay, so a little bit of that steak did get burnt, and these are the burnt pieces. So I picked all of it out. Lost track of time. Anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, smush all of this avocado, and then I will begin adding my seasonings. Of course, I always taste to make sure there's enough lemon, um, and if there is, then I just go on to seasoning. Definitely needs more lemon, and I'm only gonna need another half. So I have to put this in a Ziploc baggie as well. A lot of juice came out of that. Get that all in there. Add some cilantro. Can't go wrong with cilantro. You gonna eat some guacamole? Do you like guacamole? Um, I eat a little bit, but um, I'm fan. <laughs> you're not the biggest fan. Yeah. All right, I got that all in there. I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I have all that extra. I don't know why I bought two bunches. I kind of had a feeling I didn't need it. I'm an overbuyer when it comes on to honestly everything, but food for sure. And now we're gonna add onion powder, a good amount of garlic powder because guacamole really thrives with garlic. A little bit of salt, you don't want it to be bland. 
little bit of accent. I'm gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. That's great. I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic powder and salt. That is amazing. I didn't warm up the refried beans but the refried beans usually never get touched like that. So I'm not even gonna even do it because they never really get touched. I love refried beans though, it's a good it's a good side. But since they might go to waste, you know, and I never eat them as leftovers like ever. Well, the food's done then, I'm just gonna start setting everything out. So I see you got everything laid out now. What are those cups for though? Okay, so I just rinsed out these cups so I could make this cool drink. I'm going to smush up these raspberries. Ooh, they're smushing up super nice. And I'm gonna put them at the bottom of these cups. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some ice in them, put some lemonade on top, and it's gonna be like a nice aesthetic drink. I wish we had some straws. Didn't really think about that, but it'll still be pretty darn good. But yeah, I have everything laid out. It looks very nice so that people can come up and just kind of serve themselves. I also have chips, but here we have the taco shells. We have guacamole, we have steak, we have queso, we have sour cream, pico de gallo, cheese and then of course i'm gonna go ahead and start making these drinks i love these cups i'm about to go on amazon and get me some nice glassware because i have like five different sets of cups in my amazon cart i just haven't bought it because i don't have the space but now i don't even care i want these cups not these ones but the ones that i have in my cart all right grab some raspberry 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 So my nephew really wanted to do his own ice. So I let him. So I stood above him as he put his cup up like this and ice just started to fall on all, blah, blah, blah. ice just started to rain on him. <laughs> he was like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, boy, I'm trying to tell you. Golly. All right, oh, oh. Period. All right, now I'm gonna add our lemonade. Mom, you gonna drink one of these drinks? Yeah. All right, let's get an up close shot. I wish they had straws here so we could mix around our, our raspberries. Ooh, they look good. I'm getting Chef Gordy. Yes, ma'am. Everything is looking amazing. The drinks are, girl, everything. I'm about to make my plate. That looks so pretty, girl. Yeah, I wish they had straws. That's why I was like, oh man. But yeah, so we've got everything you need here. Pico de gallo cheese. I have some queso, some steak, guacamole, shells. Everything yeah, you need. let's eat it. I'm ready. Um, do you know where the plates are? You know where the plates are? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, cool. Mm. That's good. That didn't sound too convincing. Here, Mom. That's delicious. Let's get it. It's good, Mom? It was delicious. I'm glad to hear it. You did your thing on this. Mm, it, it is amazing. So good. It is perfection. <laughs> that is food. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Not authentic, but sure is yummy. Okay, so it's the next morning, and when I tell you guys I almost did not post this video, I almost did not. Jordan is the only reason why I'm posting this video because he's convincing me that I'm being a perfectionist and I'm just trying to be perfect. And there's gonna be times where I should post more natural, free-flowing kind of content. So if you don't get what I'm saying, basically I'm a little bit of, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I really like the vibe and aesthetic going on in my channel. I really love it. But this particular video. The kitchen is knocking it off. I know it sounds crazy, but it's just like the dark, gloomy kitchen. I don't really like that. I just don't really like that. Um, and it looks gloomier on camera. And it's just giving... Not me. I mean, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. The perfectionists really get it. I just feel like this video doesn't match my channel. But there's going to be times where that happens. Anyway, the food was absolutely delicious. The guac and pico de gallo is amazing. I love those. Girl, if I had the time, I would make that junk twice a week. I'm not playing. I love pico de gallo. And I love me some guacamole. I can eat that on chicken. I could eat it on steak. I could eat it on pork. I could eat it on anything. Pico de gallo and guacamole make anything better. Anything. Okay. So everything came out great. So basically, I'm just like beating myself up. And I'm just like, you shouldn't post this video. Like, you already cooked this meal. 
on YouTube, plus the kitchen was just like, Bleh, and it's not even your kitchen, so why are you like mad about it? Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it, so I hope that you guys enjoy watching it. And it's a little different, but hey, it's here. Enjoy it while it lasts, because y'all know I don't really make content like this. Oh, God bless you all in Jesus' name, and it's time for your girls to go ahead and head up out of here. Thank you.